Hello and welcome to my channel. In this session we are going to display hex digits 0 to F on a 7 segment LED interface. So before proceeding with the program let me give a small introduction to the LED. So as you can see this is a, a common anode 7 segment display. Okay, So this 7 segment display contains uh, 7 LEDs as you can see from A to G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and there is also one uh, decimal point over here. Okay, So in, in our experiment we are using common anode LED. So in anode LED to make the LED glow we should set the value to 0. That means uh, if I want to make uh, to glow 0, okay. so for example if I want to display 0, if I want to make display 0 then A, B, C, D, E, F should be 0. G and this decimal point should be 1 then only I will be able to display 0 ok because uh, you can see that uh, the, uh, at the input we had given the 0 voltage at the input we had given the 0 voltage here so these are the resistors here ok so if you give 0 only the current will pass and it will glow the LED ok because one end of the uh, LED is connected to the VCC, the input voltage is connected to the zero volt, that is to the uh, ground, right? Now let me show you to display each and every hex digits uh, starting from zero to F, zero, one, two, three, up to A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So what are those uh, code words we need to remember and how to remember it? Uh, let me show you a PDF now. So here you can see if I want to uh, display a zero okay then as i mentioned you that a to f should be zero okay a to f should be zero here just have a look of this one yeah a to f should be zero okay this 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 and this should be zero only this uh, leds are required for it to display zero right g and dp is not required so that's the reason we had put one here okay and this will give you 1100 means uh, c 0000 means uh, 0 so if you uh, place it in a, a 32 bit hexadecimal number then it will look like this 0x 0000 c0 okay so if this hexadecimal code is given then it will display 0 similarly if you want to display 1 so if you want to display 1 uh, uh, what will you do see here let me show you so one can be displayed using B and C or you can use F and D. it is up to you. So in our experiment we had used B and C. Okay, only these two LEDs should be glowing. Okay, these two LEDs should glow. Rest all should be off. Then what should I do? B and C I will put 0. Rest every, everything I will put it as a 1 including DP. So this will become, this will look like this. So you can see B and C is 0. Rest all are 1. So 1111 is F. 1001 is 9. So F9, so uh, if you uh, convert that into hexa code, it will look like this. So if this hexa code is given, and it will display 1. Similarly, in case of 2, 3, 4, okay, for each and every number to display, okay, you have its own uh, hexa code here. So these are all the hexa code, okay. If this hexa code has to be stored in an array while writing the program. And we will uh, uh, send this pattern one after the other, so that uh, it will display it in a LED anode okay we are using LED anode to display all the hex digits similarly we have LED cathode also okay in LED cathode what we do means whichever LEDs you want to glow you have to make it as one okay then uh, which you don't want you have to make it as zero it is totally a reverse order of uh, anode here okay your number will display in this fashion as you can say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 A B C D E F like this okay please remember on means zero off means one this you have to remember before we proceed further okay so the seven segment led display is an output devices which is used for uh, displaying all the alphanumeric characters okay and as i shown you earlier uh, this one it contains all eight led segments a b c d e f g and h this is a h here or you can call it as a decimal point okay so seven are used for displaying all the uh, numeric uh, or alphanumeric characters and one is used to represent the decimal point okay remember that right and uh, uh, you can see few of the uh, pictures here 
see this is how it will display see in this fashion okay so this is how we are going to label all the uh, leds here a to h okay a to h so you can see here a b c d e f so this has to be zero and rest uh, should be one so this is one okay this is how we select uh, the leds to glow fine see three four five six seven so i hope you all understood the theoretical background uh, to display this now uh, let me take you to the program yeah and uh, as i already mentioned you that uh, it is available in two different configuration uh, that's anode and cathode okay for anode all the anodes of the eight segments are connected commonly you can see it here okay input voltage is given to ground here and in common cathode eight led segments share a common cathode line here this one okay so this is very important to know before we proceed up with the programs now let me take you to the program so program is very simple here okay we have to display all the hex digits 0 to f right in a led uh, module here you know, or you can call it as a seven segment led interface right so now as i mentioned you earlier we have to include this uh, header file lpc214x.h and after that uh, uh, we have to declare a variable i i'll tell you for what purpose we are using this is used to uh, take the uh, give the index position of each and every single pattern okay and there is a, a one single function called delay okay this is very important or the numbers will be displayed so fast that within a blink of an eye uh, it will get displayed and we may not be able to see it clearly that's the reason we are giving some small delay okay and now we are going to store all these hexa codes as i told you okay how i got this also i told you right and that we are storing it in an array the name of the array is arr and it is of type integer okay and this is stored in a proper format c0 means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f like that it is stored in a order okay if you want to uh, put it in a descending order then you should start from this number so based on how you give like that it will go okay or else you can handle that in a for loop also now coming back to the main function first is io0 dir equal to 0 x F F F F F F F F. So what does it mean? Direction flag means uh, whenever you give it as one, it is an output pin. Uh, zero means an uh, input pin. So this is uh, defining all the pins of port zero to output pins here. Okay, port zero. I was zero, no. So we are defining all the pins of port zero to output pins because to connect the LED to the port zero port on LPC two one four eight. Since we know that the one is for output and zero is for uh, input, so we are making all as uh, output pins here okay then we will write one while loop so that uh, the numbers uh, are going to be displayed onto the led seven segment led and number of times for that we use a while loop here if you want to stop it you can use some external interrupt to stop it or else you can switch off the power cable okay and we are using the for loop as i told you to start from the index 0 to 15 okay so totally 16 values are there right 16 hexa codes are there so we are using the loop for 16 iterations here and uh, we are going to set the value okay so whatever uh, you want to set the value the pattern to that uh, okay pattern we have to give it assign it to io0 set io0 set is equal to array of i so array of i i becomes zero array of zero is this one so this is the first number it is going to take and it is going to assign it to the set value and then after a delay of 5000 milliseconds we are going to clear it so that zero will be displayed first then one will be displayed then two will be displayed. like that in the same fashion it keeps displaying okay and uh, finally we have a small function called delay here uh, we are just uh, uh, using two for loops to do some uh, iterations here okay it is not going to perform any task but simply it iterates for some milliseconds then it will again uh, you are going to clear and again you are going to set uh, take the new pattern and set it to the uh, gpio this is how we write the program for a to display all the hex digits okay 0 to f in a seven segment led interface now let us see the execution part of this program okay now let us see how we are going to display the hex digits that is from 0 to f on a seven segment led interface by providing an appropriate delay in between okay so as you can see this is a led anode display 
okay which has seven segment as you can see a b c d e f g total seven leds along with one decimal point here along with the one decimal point so this is led common anode okay and you can see the number here lt542 so you will get it in any stores okay so you need to purchase this and after that we need to have sufficient jump wires and as you all know that the jump wires are in three types male to male male to female and female to female so we are making use of male to male okay jump wires are required along with that we required resistors of 330 ohm 330 ohm resistors okay then we need a breadboard we need a breadboard now i will explain you how we are going to connect it to the breadboard through the various jump wires and common led anode so before we proceed further we need to know the the connectivity procedures okay so the connectivity procedures follows with the frc and led okay you can see this is an frc here this is an frc cable starting from here so as you can see here in frc cable okay so this is one one make sure this red line is at the top okay so this red line should come at the top and from here you have to see one two so this has total how many pins 10 10 slots are there in frc cables okay and also in common uh, led anode we also have a 10 pins as you can see here total 10 pins are there okay five pins at the top and the next five pins at the bottom right total 10 pins through the jump wire we are going to connect the common led anode to the frc cable so it starts from in this way you can see how i'm holding the frc cable the red line should come at the top okay now it goes from right to left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so total 10 pins okay so in this way we need to connect it to the common led anode through the jump wires male to male okay now i will show you the connectivity so so as you can see here from first pin of frc it is connected to the seventh pin of common led you can see here this is the breadboard and you can see the anode uh, this thing common led anode is connected to the breadboard okay these are all the jump wires here now it works in this fashion so you can see here frc1 frc1 one pin is connected to the seventh pin of led to the through uh, to the towards the uh, jump wires okay you can see here so the first pin is what that is white in color this white color this white color is connected to the seventh pin of a uh, led seventh pin of led so it goes in this fashion 1 2 3 3 is ground Three is ground. As you can see, there is no uh, jump wire is connected. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It goes in an anti-clockwise direction. Remember this. So, if you keep it in this way, breadboard. First pin start from the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In that fashion, it goes. Okay. As I told you in FRC one, first pin is connected to the Seventh pin of a LED. Similarly, the second pin of a first is connected to the sixth pin of LED. Third to fourth, fourth to second, fifth to first, sixth to ninth, seventh to tenth, eighth to uh, fifth. Okay, one end and one end is connected to the. You can see the resistor here. You can see the resistor. Okay, one end of the resistor is connected to the eighth pin of a first. The other end is connected to the. resistor here 
you can see it right here okay similarly the other end of the resistor is connected to the ninth pin of frc so in this fashion we are going to connect all the jump points which will communicate from the common led anode to the frc cable okay one side is been connected in this fashion another side we have to connect it to the frc1 okay we'll connect to the frc4 here so in this case we are connecting it to the frc4 so as you can see now uh, i written a program for that okay very simple program very small program here so there is no parallel programming involved in this now after you create a program you know you have to attach it to the target folder double click on that and uh, add it to the target folder okay and after doing that we have to set the target properties you know click on uh, use microlib output click on create hex file listing c preprocessor listing okay then in the linker use memory layout from the target dialog after you do all these settings it's time to translate okay and we should see that there is a zero errors okay you can ignore all the warnings and finally we are going to build the program and rebuild it again okay this to, this is used to build the program okay once we are done we are ready to the burn the code to the microcontroller and to do that we required a flash magic select the appropriate device com port baud rate interface and oscillator of 12 hertz and browse for the relevant uh, hex file that is 7 segment dot hex file okay then it's time to click on start okay so before we click on start make sure the power cable is on the power cable is on and you have connected the serial interface cable to the microcontroller lpc 2148 okay so click on start here once you click on start you can see the the code is getting transfer to the lpc 2148 microcontroller once it is done now you can see the lcd here okay it starts from zero you can see here zero one two three in that fashion it goes all up to the all the hex digits starting from 0 to f thank you